Is a better world possible? The challenges sometimes seem overwhelming. Billions of people have no access to education, health care, clean drinking water, or even basic human rights. Their poverty is compounded by corruption, conflict over resources, economic stagnation, and violence. Some countries, the whole generations of young people are being and lost. So the cycle goes on and on. So yeah, one has to break that cycle. Where are the solutions? And who are the change makers who can create them? In the past few decades, a powerful force has emerged. New leaders finding new ways to tackle the world's biggest problems. Problems that governments and businesses alone have not been able to overcome. This is a, a, a new language, a new way of looking at the world. Very different structure, different framework. Difference, difference points. This global revolution is led by social entrepreneurs, innovative people who respond to local problems, engage their communities in solving them, and accelerate change. What has happened during the last five years is breathtaking. People have the power of transformation. This series is an opportunity to learn from the most extraordinary social entrepreneurs, people whose visionary ideas and persistence have enabled millions to transform their own lives. These founding members of Ashoka's Global Academy for Social Entrepreneurship have lessons to offer us all about the power of our own potential. Poverty is not caused by the poor people. Poverty is caused by the system we built. Muhammad Yunus founded Grameen Bank, a bank tailored for poor people. We did something wrong and poverty is created. So let's do something right so that poverty disappears. These big projects lend themselves to huge kickbacks, to payments of 10, 20, 30 million dollars. Peter Eigen and Transparency International have galvanized a global effort against corruption. So that was the breakthrough, an approach which social entrepreneurs should pursue. Decent working conditions are a basic human right. And we think that consumers have a right to expect it. Alice Tepper Marlin established Social Accountability International to help assure fair standards in workplaces worldwide. And that every company has the capacity to treat the people who work for them decently. The same of the hundred greatest economies in the world, 51 are businesses. Oded Grajev and the Ethos Institute have made corporate social responsibility the norm in Brazil. Social responsibility is nothing more and nothing less than doing the right things. Life expectancy at birth in 1975 was 49, now it's 61. BRAC is the largest citizen sector organization in Bangladesh and in the world. Fazal Hassan Abed is its creator. You need to have large-scale programs, otherwise you don't bring about any significant change. Our job is not to give people fish, it's not to teach them how to fish, it's to build a new and better fishing industry. Bill Drayton is founder of Ashoka, Innovators for the Public, supporter of social entrepreneurs worldwide. 88% of the people we elect at the end of five years have had other institutions copy their ideas. 59% have achieved national policy impact. They all started small from humble beginnings. You are invited to share their journeys, learn their insights, and about the tools they use to produce change. We have a window of opportunity of a couple of this years. This is a chance that we have to think ahead. The companies that get this are going to have a huge competitive advantage. Whether you're in business, the media, government, universities, or the social sector, this series will expose you to a new way of thinking and working that will stretch your own beliefs about what's possible and how you can achieve it.